All right, what is up guys? So today I want to talk about how I went from having zero programming experience to landing a software engineering internship at Dropbox in just one year time. Um, so if you're someone um, who's looking to find an engineering internship, if you're a computer science student, if you're looking to like maybe major in computer science, then you know this might be the video for you. So keep watching. So freshman year of college, I was actually uh, an physics major. Um, but after a year of doing that, I felt like it wasn't really a good fit for me. So I wanted to look for something new. Um, I always had an interest in technology and I saw that Cornell was offering a major called information science and it just looked like a good fit for me. So spring semester of my sophomore year, that's when I like really changed my major. So in January of 2017, I enrolled in Cornell's introductory computer science course, which was taught in Python. Here I learned like the basic data types, um, data structures, I learned um, classes, recursion, and like basic sorting, al sorting algorithms. While I was doing this, I also enrolled in a student run iOS course, which taught mobile programming using Swift. Um, this course was also very valuable and very informative. Python taught me the basics of programming and I always taught me the basics of how to build a program. So it taught me like what APIs are, like how network requests work, like how basic databases work, um, how to store data, things like that. So the summer after my spring semester, I spent uh, some time just trying to make mobile apps by myself. Um, I also watch tutorials on YouTube. I try to follow some open source um, CS curriculums uh, online. Um, by the end of the summer, I didn't have anything to like showcase. Um, I hadn't built a complete app. I hadn't shipped anything. I didn't finish any of the CS curriculums that I started. But you know, it's fine because it helped me keep my like coding skills in shape and helped me make sure that I don't forget anything that I learned the semester prior. The fall semester of my junior year, which was August 2017, I enrolled in Cornell's second level computer science course, which is taught in Java. Here I learned about more advanced data structures like heaps, queues, um, and I learned like more advanced algorithms like Dijkstra's. During this time, I also joined a student organization which was dedicated to building mobile apps. So I was with a group of other students and we would build apps and I shipped them to the app store. Like this was fantastic for two reasons. Like first, people were actually using our app on in the Cornell community. So because people were using what I built, I felt much more motivated to, you know, learn more and code more. And it also gave me something, uh, gave me something cool to put on my resume. And number two, because I was working not by myself, but with a group of people, when I got stuck, it was really easy to seek help and, you know, learn from my mistakes. There's a lot that can be said about the exact recruitment process and how job finding works. Um, in my opinion, I think finding a job comes down to solving two different problems. The first is getting the interview, and the second is doing well on the interview. Um, so for me to get the interview, there's a number of things that I try to do. Um, I wrote cover letters, like I try to come up with like very creative cover letters. Wow. I reached out to uh, recruiters. Um, I cold emailed like Cornell alumni. I reach out to other friends who are currently working in industry. Um, I like put it, I worked on some more side projects so I could put them on my resume. So all these things. Now the second part, doing well on the interview. Most software engineering um, interviews consist of like a coding problem. So I spent a lot of time, you know, practicing and solving um, practice interview questions on sites like LeetCode and HackerRank. Something that I tried to really focus on was my communication skills because I felt like that was something that could, you know, make me stand out amongst other candidates. Um, in the end, I applied around 70 different companies and three of them got back to me for further steps. For Dropbox, I had a couple phone interviews and I had a round of onsite interviews and 
I got back with an offer from them in early March of 2018. The first, if you're looking for a software engineering role and you don't like coding, just stop. Number two, instead of working on projects by yourself, try working in groups of people. It's a better learning experience. And finally, number three, reach out for help. Talk to people. You know, it might even like get you that sweet referral, which is great. All right, so thanks for watching. And I'm gonna be uploading more content about breaking into the tech industry. So if you're curious and wanna learn more, make sure you subscribe and um, leave a comment below if you have any more questions for me. Thanks.